For today's video, ipapakita natin kung paano magbayad ng security bank credit card gamit ang GCash application. So ito guys ay no fees and no charge. The following questions will be answered in this video. So first, how to pay security bank credit card using GCash application? Second, how to save biller under favorites category? Where to get the proof of payment or receipt? And last, ways how to check payment details. Good AM everybody! Welcome back again to my channel. This is Irene Manzon. Naghanap ba kayo ng pagkakakitaan or tutorial videos? Just click on subscribe button and hit the notification bell para ma-update kayo sa mga susunod ko pang mga videos. So guys, first, you must have internet connection and you must have this GCash application in your mobile phone. If you don't have, you can install this by using the link provided in the description below. When opening GCash application, MPIN is required. So never share your MPIN with anyone, okay? Your available balance will be displayed together with the different categories. So sa pagbabayad ng credit card, click lang po natin ang pay bills and top credit cards. Select natin ang Security Bank MasterCard dahil ito ang example natin for today. So guys, yung pagbabayad dito is yung payment will be posted within 3 business days. So just provide credit card number information which has 16 digits, amount na babayaran, and email. Optional lang yung email pero mas maganda na ilagay na rin natin para makareceive tayo ng notification. Sa mga new credit card holders, dito nyo makikita yung 16 digits pag card and dito naman pag statement of account. So now guys, ilalagay na natin yung credit card number. So take note lang na kapag nagbayad na tayo previously sa same biller, lalabas agad yung credit card number dun sa selection. So kahit one number lang ilalagay natin yung pinaka first number, lalabas din agad sa selection yung same biller account previously na binayaran natin. So now guys, select na natin yung credit card number na nasa selection dahil same biller lang yung pagbabayaran natin. For the amount, we can enter any values. So sa part natin, magpa-partial payment lang tayo. And sa email, mas magandang ilagay na rin natin para makareceive tayo ng notification from GCash application. Sa pinakababa guys, may makikita din kay message na your convenience fee is waived for this transaction. So, click on next button. Then, may confirmation na receive So, need nating i-check from here yung amount na babayaran, credit card number, and email. And may message din na please note that several billers charge a service fee. So, check natin mamaya kung may service fee nga ba. So now, click na natin ang confirm button. So may payment received na tayong nakuha and pwede natin i-download to by clicking the arrow down. So receipt save, go to your gallery to view the image version of the transaction receipt. Then click on OK. So automatic magsisave yung uh, picture na yan sa gallery natin. Then may pop-up message na thank you for using GCash. Click on OK button para bumalik tayo sa main page. So automatically nabawas na yung value na binayad natin sa available balance. After payment, makaka-receive ka agad ng notification dito sa mismong inbox ng GCash application. So check natin kung anong nilalaman yan. So dito guys, makikita mo kung anong biller, kung saan ka nagbayad, amount, and yung reference number. So, dito makikita mo din na with fee zero has been processed. So, walang charge kapag nagbayad tayo dito sa security bank gamit ang GCash application. So, guys, pwede rin natin i-check dito sa may transaction history. In nga lang may message dito na your latest transactions will reflect within 24 hours. So, check na lang ulit natin to bukas after 24 hours. So, check naman natin ngayon yung message sa Gmail. So, ito yung subject guys, Gcash Bills Payment. So, yung information na nandito ay pwedeng gamitin as a proof of payment dahil nandiyan yung reference number ng ating binayaran. Pwede rin natin gamitin yung text notification for reference and proof of payment. So, ang sender is Gcash. 
So your transactions to Security Bank MasterCard amounting to, and then with fee zero, uh, reference number. Same lang naman yung message ng text notification dun sa inbox ng GCash application. Sa so, dollar naman guys, nag-successfully save yung image ng receipt kanina after clicking ng arrow down dun sa GCash application. Ganito naman guys yung paglalagay ng billers sa favorites. Click lang natin yung pay bills. Then, so bago lahat guys, check mo na natin yung favorites category para makita nyo yung before and after. So, wala dyan yung security bank. Diba? Now, lagyan natin ng heart yung security bank mastercard. So, check natin ngayon, andyan na po yung security bank under favorites. So, mas madaling magbayad, guys. Kasi, guys, from here, pwede mo nang iselect yung dealers kung saan ka magbabayad. After 24 hours, so babalikan natin yung sa transaction history sa GCash para ma-check kung nag-reflect na. So yan guys, upon checking, bills payment sa security bank na 1,445 nag-reflect na. So andyan makikita security bank, date, time, and reference number. Kung gusto mo namang makita yung available balance for every transaction, click lang po natin yan guys. So, request transaction. Sa number of days, pwede tayo mag-select either 7 days, 30 days, 60 days, or pwede nating i-costume. So, for 60 days, automatically mag-set yung from and to na date. So, click lang natin yung confirm button. And transaction history request successful. The file will be sent to your email. Check natin ngayon yung email. So, yan guys, may receive na tayo your GCash transaction history. So, itin request natin na 60 days transactions. Naka-indicate din sa message yung password na gagamitin mo, which is the last name registered your GCash wallet, followed by the last four digits of your GCash mobile number. Just scroll down para makita yung naka-attach na file. And mismo dito sa file, dyan mo input yung password. So, ito guys, yung itsura ng GCash transaction history. So, dito sa file, makikita mo ang date and time, description, reference number, debit, credit, and available balance for every transaction. And sa pinakadulo guys, makikita mo yung ending balance ng total debit and total credit. Guys, sa mga wala pang GCash application, register now by using the link in the description below to get free certain amount.